Hi right, guys, welcome back. Dan at Markham Creek Lures, which actually might be changing. But first I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna teach you how to tie kind of the downrigger I use for catfishing. So let's uh let's get into this. So I'm gonna take a swivel, a snap swivel. See if you can see it. Okay. I'm going to tie this on my line with what I consider a basic cinch knot. So you get it through the, the eye of the snap swivel, like so. Then you wrap it. I do this very, very quickly because I've been fishing for the, yeah, exactly 30 years because I started with my dad when I was around five. And I'll be 35 in January. So. You're going to take this tag end, which is the short end, you're going to wrap it around the main line. One, two, three, four, five, six. I always do seven because I think it's a little luck. And then you hold the tag and you hold the main line and you pull. Oh, let go of the tag end, let it tighten up. Let me. Because this is 25 pound line, I used a heavy line so you guys could see what I was doing. Pull that tight. Oh, those are so dirty. And your knot is gonna look. Let me get. Let me get in a way you can see this. It's gonna look a lot like this. Okay. Bunch of wraps. It's gonna cinch down on this part so it cannot come off. Not by pulling. Now you can break it. Now I'm going to take my cutters because I have them handy. Snip off the tag end. There you go. Doesn't matter if you leave the tag end or not. Not on this. Not on this one. Because this. Holy cow! Who closed? It? Well, my. Clip has been smushed a little bit, so let me let me unsmushify you there. Unsmushified, I think. There we go. I know it's not a word. I don't care if it's a word or not. Now that's open. It has a lock on the back. <laughs> that was actually smashed closed. So I had to pry it open a little bit. Don't want to waste tying this on. I didn't realize it was smashed before I tied it on. So that's that's kind of my my problem there. Okay. This a lot of you probably remember you put this on here on the hook and you put your weight somewhere somewhere up here away from the hook so that you got a foot or two or whatever depth you want to fish your bait at. Not how we're doing it. So you're not putting your hook on this. Instead the clip is for your sinker and I'm going to use this little egg sinker with a brass loop on it because I like those. They, If you tie them directly to your line, they don't wreck your line like some of the, the pass through. So that's that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your line, let down about, about a foot. Sorry guys, there's there's a heater running in the other office, so it might be, you might hear it. And there's a fridge in here. So you're going to take both lines, put them together, pull it down. I like to do about six, eight inches, somewhere in there. I'll take this, make a loop. So all you're doing is you take the end that's the two, ta-da, you're bringing it back to this. I use my other fingers bringing it back to here so you get this and it crosses right there. I just have that in my thumb and finger and I'm going to pass this loop through this hole two three times, doesn't matter. One, I do two, actually I want it to be a little smaller than that, a little longer than that. One, two, okay, and then you're going to pull that. You want to lick it, get it moist, pull that tight, the moisture acts as a lubricant, it will tighten up, 
Ugh. Now I pull from both sides. Okay, you see? This is the loop we just made. There's the knot. Now I take my fingernails and I pull on this side and I pull on this side. It tightens it up, makes it smaller. It will not slip. I hope. There's no catfish that's going to pull. You're not going to pull that hard because this end, then there's the loop, and then there's your weight. Your weight and your fishing pole is not, if your weight does get stuck, well, it's an egg weight, so it should pull out with enough force. You're not going to pull on it harder with a fishing pole than I just did. Actually, that, that almost cut into my pinky. Let's see? See the lines? Yeah. Okay, now you have this loop here. This is your main line. That's your weight. So that goes down. This goes back to your fishing pole. Your main line goes back to your fishing pole. I don't have it on a fishing pole because I don't have a fishing pole set up with 25 pound line right now that is anywhere near me. You have your loop. You're going to fold your loop in half. Make it nice and tight at the end. So you're going to squeeze it together. So it'll fit through the eye of your fishing hook. You're going to pass it through. Then you're going to take it, open it up like this. Pass the hook back through there so that you end up with this. Right? And then you pull it. Boom. That's how me and my buddy tie our drop shot for our cat fishing. And we use hooks this size. I mean, that's my thumb. This size and much, much bigger depending on the size of bait. If we're using chicken liver, a lot of times we'll use treble hook. But lately, the catfish we've been catching have been a lot of catfish on cut bait. Sorry, the weight hit the tripod. Uh, cut bait. Um been catching them on dead suckers and I'll show you a special way to hook those in a different video when we actually go and do that because we have a special pull through way of hooking up the suckers and it involves a paper clip with a small hook bent in the end of it so and that's how I ended up with a hook in my lip tightening up a knot so I don't suggest tightening a knot with your teeth. For one, it'll it'll break up your teeth. Mine aren't broke. They're just really crooked. <coughs> but yeah, that is the drop shot. Oh yeah, here's another tip. Have, let's say this is your setup, you're actually using it like this. You want the hook to curl towards your line. Because once there's a sucker on there and it gets in a current, it's going to float out like this. And then when the catfish come and they eat the sucker and you pull to set the hook, it's going to drive the tip of the hook up and straight into some hopefully thick bony flesh. And he will not be coming off. So, that's it. Now I'll probably take that apart and throw most of it away. But until next time, keep fishing.